This video is sponsored by bootcamp.com. Check it out for INBDE prep and use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas and today's topic is going to be waiting for your exam results. Guys, if you like the content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. So waiting for your exam results, that's a challenging thing to do. Uh, for board exams like the INBDE and the ADAT, you usually have to wait almost three to four weeks before you get your results back. And for dental school exams, it may just be a few days, but however long the wait is, it always feels excruciatingly long. And there can also be a lot of anxiety surrounding these exam results. You know, all your friends are talking about how they think it went, and people are collecting in the hallway talking about you know, the certain questions and things that they got right or wrong. So what do you do in this time of waiting? And think about that for a minute. What do you tend to do as you're waiting for your exam results to come back? Well, I want to give you three tips to try and help make this waiting process a little bit easier. So number one is to recognize that the exam happened and it's in the past now. So first, take a deep breath and realize that the exam is done, it's behind you, and you can't change anything about it now. Yes, your feelings are understandable, some nervousness and anxiety is a normal reaction to have, and it just means you care. You care about your academic achievement, you care about doing well, and that's actually a great thing. But your ability to change what's already taken place is in the past. And worrying about the exam now will not add any points to your total score. Just like you cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. What's done is done, and accepting that is the first step. Tip number two is I want you to actually get a piece of paper and write down the three possible outcomes here. So the first option is the best case scenario that you pass with flying colors and you never have to think about the exam again. And then also write down the options that that scenario gives you. The second scenario is the worst case scenario, is that you fail by a wide margin, you didn't do as well as you'd hoped, and then also write down the options that that path will lead to. And third is somewhere in the middle between those two, a realistic outcome to your best judgment and the options that that scenario affords you. Now, while you're doing this, also remember that some feelings can be blown way out of proportion. The truth is you are allowed to get a lot of questions wrong on the board exam and still pass. So a lot of people come out of that exam room feeling like they failed. And it turns out they passed in the end. So don't forget to talk about what you're feeling with someone you trust, bring it down to size. And hey, that person may also have some ideas to help you out as well. But you'll find that with all three of these paths that we've now laid out, Whichever you eventually fall on, there will be plenty of options for you to take once you get there. And no matter which path you eventually follow, guys, plan a reward for yourself so that you have something to look forward to, even if the results aren't what you'd hoped. All right, and tip, tip number three is to stay busy and distract yourself. So I do not want you thinking about this exam every minute of every day. Watch a TV show that you enjoy, hang out with friends, just do something that you find fun. We talked about also how to prioritize rest in the last video, and all of those tips will be helpful to develop some new healthy habits and incorporate those things into your daily routine and you'll soon forget about the exam that you just took. Now, I definitely want you to pay attention to this one. Studying for the next attempt while you wait for your results is the last thing that you should be doing. 
For your own mental health and well-being, I never recommend studying for the exam that you just took while you wait for the results in the event that you have to retake it. It's okay to write down some topics that you might want to revisit later um, or certain questions or things that you just found interesting and you might want to revisit down the road, but then after you're done writing them, just hide them somewhere and forget about them. I want you to distract, not distress. And remember, worrying about the exam now won't change the score, but it will make you more stressed. The good news is you get to decide how you choose to wait. Guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful, although a little bit windy, Carolinas. This is Dr. Ryan, and remember, wait in peace, not in stress. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. And thank you to all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.